one of three women in Ghana experience physical or sexual violence in a lifetime. That's according to an Oxfam and European Union report last year. This is a crisis and the organizations have today launched the Enough campaign to empower women and girls to claim their rights to a free life from fear and violence. Speaking at the launch of the gender justice of the of the uh, of the program, uh, justice advisor Keita Rose Tahiru said, through advocacy in schools, the campaign will enable young women in Ghana end discrimination and violence. We're declaring enough, um, enough women, enough girls, enough men, enough boys being harmed by um, the effects of gender-based violence. Millions of dollars, not even CDs, millions of dollars are lost every year due to the effects, the health effects, the time off work, the loss in education that you see from gender-based violence. And so we're really saying enough, apart from the economic harms, there are emotional harms. Um, children who are in violent homes tend to grow up to also perpetuate that cycle of violence. Um, women and girls are not able to um, live their full potential and human rights are being uh, trampled upon every day. So this project, this four-year project supported by the European Union is our declaration that we say enough. We're not going to take it anymore as a society and we're all coming together as partners to collaborate and to end gender-based violence. So we have two main objectives. The first objective is to um, build capacity of civil society organizations, of local and grassroots organizations, and to that end we will be doing a call for proposals to have a um, financial granting system and through that mechanism we hope to work with five more partners um, across Ghana um, and in our target areas. So that's the first objective to build the capacity technical, institutional, financial and strategic of um, local and grassroots organizations around gender-based violence. The second objective is around challenging and changing social norms that promote gender-based violence. And so to work with um, eight total partners in Ghana, um, and we hope to impact over 6,000 um, direct individuals. Of course, every day as people hear about the ENOUGH project, that will also increase. And so. That's, that's really our goal, to change that mindset around the acceptability of gender-based violence and um, increase the capacity of uh, women's rights organizations, of civil society, and of individuals to really challenge and say that no more will we just take gender-based violence as something that... Well, some young persons who were at the launch have been sharing their own experiences. The government must help us to break the cycle of discrimination and uh, abuse that occurs in mostly the institutions in Ghana. It will help with the adolescent to learn how to say no to sex and also to fight against the maybe the boys or the guys who will worry us. I've learned to be bold, to step forward and help fight for the rights of girls who are being abused in the country and people who are not being given their freedom. Their rights are being trampled upon. I'll step forward and then help them to regain um, their rights and be um, independent citizens as they want to be. Going forward, what do you think the government, together with other civil society organizations, stakeholders, the churches, and other people should do in order to help young boys like yourself? Um, I think they should organize um, forums and platforms that will help young boys like me to share their views on issues and also difficulties they will sometimes have in dealing with such issues and also they should visit um, places like villages where most of the harmful plastics 
are being enforced so that it will help stop all those harmful practices and give um, young boys and girls their freedom. And every perpetrator that will be caught should be severely punished to deter others from committing the same offense or crime.